Welcome to Rick Rack Ruby. I'm Laura Cluvo. Today we will be making this No Sew Fabric Holly Leaf Cluster. It can go on your Christmas tree or it could be a package decoration. They're fun and easy, so let's get started. To make the pipe cleaner holly leaves, I'm going to start with three different shades of green. There's an emerald green and then a darker green, sort of like a pine color, and a lime. I'm going to use the emerald color to outline the leaf and these colors for stems. I tried to match them up to my favorite scrap of um, 1970s holly print fabric, and you can use any holly print fabric or even a solid green. I'm starting by folding the pipe cleaner in half and I'm making a sharp point right in the center. Then I'm going to come down about an inch and a half like this and make another bend, a sharp bend on both sides. It's okay if they're not completely symmetric and it's okay if it's not exactly an inch and a half. We're just going to make kind of a holly shape. There's no pressure, even kids can make this. Then I'm gonna go down about two and a half inches and make the second little bend here. And in the other side, about right here. And then I'm going to shape the pipe cleaner into a holly leaf and twist these ends. Now you really want to use the entire pipe cleaner, or I should call it a chenille stem. Use the entire thing. You only need about a quarter of an inch twisted together at the bottom. Now that's not perfect, but it's good enough. I'm going to make five chenille stem holly leaves for my cluster. Bend right at the center. Go out about an inch and a half, bend again, about two and a half inches, bend again, and repeat for the other side. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be perfectly symmetric. You'll have a little bit more character in your project if they're a little bit wonky. And then the bottom quarter of an inch, I'm going to twist together. There we go. Okay, now I have my five leaves and I'm going to use a glue stick. I've tried different things and I found that a glue stick is the best for the stickiness and the permanence and the ease and the lack of mess. Either side will work. You can just spread the glue, starting at the stem, all the way up to the top. It's okay if it pulls out of shape a little bit, you can always reshape it, but get a nice coating of glue like this. And then turn the glue side down Give it a little bit of a reshape and place it on the fabric. We're gonna let those, oh, that looks really good. See, I like how it's pointed a little bit, not straight, just a little bit over to the side. And then I'm going to repeat for the remaining leaves. While these are drying, let's get started on the berries. For the berries, cut three three inch circles of red fabric. I just used one of these stencils. Here we go. Traced and cut out my fabric. I have a double strand of red quilting thread. 
which I've tied in a knot at the end, and I'm just going to gather up as close to the edge as I can, maybe an, between an eighth and a quarter of an inch. So I'll go all the way around. I like to use a thimble. There we go. Now I'll add some fiber fill to stuff it. It doesn't have to be perfect. It can have, you know, some little wrinkles in it. That just adds to the character of the project. It doesn't have to be like a solid ball. I do like it to be firm though. These are just about dry, so I'm gonna cut them out. I'm going to cut just close to the um, chenille stem. Sometimes I might even cut a little bit of fuzz, but I try not to. I just try to cut a little bit under like this so that I can't see too much fabric beyond the edge of the chenille stem. I tend to leave a little bit of the fabric stuck to the back of the stem like that. So here's the first one. Here's how it looks on the back. So I'm going to cut all five of those out. Here are the five cut out holly leaves. And here are some additional chenille stems for the the center vein of the leaf and the stems. I've chosen two lime colored and two sort of pine colored, but you can choose whatever you like. It's important to determine the bottom of the leaf, which is twisted together, and the top, which is just folded. And I'm going to add a drop of hot glue to the top of the stem, the chenille stem, and sort of press it into that top like that and then just do one little twist here all the way around and there is your leaf. Just one drop of hot glue and press it right into that fold there. And then one twist and we're good. Here's the lime, I love this one, this color. That one's a little bit messy, that's okay. And then around and there we go. Now you can see how you can shape these. They're very fun. So we have five leaves. Now let's shape these into a little cluster. I just make it into a circle. And then Grasp the base of the leaves that looks good and wrap them together with a short length of floral tape like this. That is plenty. Then I'm going to open these up kind of bend them back to make a cute little shape like this. Great, that looks good. And now I'll choose one of these to be sort of like the, the holder down here. And then four of them will come around, let's see, in between the leaves. And this is completely optional, but I like the way it looks. And then I'm gonna sort of coil them like this, just to give a little interest. It's 
sort of random. They don't have to be perfect. See, I'm coiling it flat. I'm not making a spring, but a spring would work too. Let's see, put this one over here. I'll show you what a spring looks like, let's see. So you can go whoop and have a little spring, if you like. I just prefer to have sort of a flat coil. And this is completely optional. Just had all of these little stems and wanted to do something with them. Great, okay. And let's put another lime one over here. Leave enough space in the center for your berries. Now this last piece is gonna be the one that you use to fasten to your Christmas tree. I'm going to loop it into a ring, but when I actually put it on the tree, I will probably open it up and twist it around one of the branches. So it looks like this now. Here are my three completed berries. I'm gonna open this up so that I can see how much room I have to glue these into the center. They're big. So I'm just gonna squeeze out a generous, a generous amount of hot glue. I don't want any of these to go dead center. Just kind of up here on one of the leaves and over here and here. So they're all kind of clumped together in the center. Okay, I'm gonna go back over this and um, I think I need a little bit more glue in there and I'm going to shape the leaves a little better and shape these little tendrils and I'll be back. Here we go. I like the way this looks. I have the five leaves, four of these tendrils and see some are a little bit longer and some are flatter and closer and then the three berries. Underneath it looks like this and I have this little handle and our holly cluster is complete. Thank you for watching my video. If you're enjoying my tutorials, please like, share, and subscribe.